Have you noticed your urine looking foamy lately? This common symptom could be a silent alarm for your kidney health. Often, changes in the appearance of your urine can be early signs that something is not right with your kidneys. One such change to watch for is proteinuria, a condition where there is too much protein in your urine. This can happen when your kidneys, which filter waste from your blood, are not working as they should. Protein in the urine isn't always noticeable, but when it is, the urine can appear foamy or frothy. While many might overlook this sign, it's important to pay attention to it, as it can indicate early stages of kidney damage. Understanding and recognizing these early signs can lead to earlier intervention, which might help manage the condition more effectively. In this script, we will dive into why cases of foamy urine might be on the rise and discuss important strategies to prevent and manage proteinuria. By doing so, we aim to provide valuable insights on how to safeguard your kidney health. Addressing these issues promptly can help maintain kidney function and prevent more serious kidney problems in the future. Our goal is to empower you with knowledge and practical tips that will help you take care of your kidneys and ensure your long-term health. Proteinuria is a condition where there is an abnormal amount of protein in the urine, which can be a sign of kidney damage. Normally, protein is too large to pass through the kidney's filters. However, if these filters are damaged, protein can leak into the urine. This condition can be a temporary issue or a persistent one, depending on the underlying cause. Temporary proteinuria might occur after intense exercise or if you have an infection. Persistent proteinuria may indicate more serious kidney disease. The presence of protein in the urine is a significant concern because it often signifies that the kidneys are not working properly. Healthy kidneys filter waste from the blood and keep the components your body needs, like protein. When protein passes into the urine, it means that the kidney's filters, or glomeruli, are damaged. This damage can hinder the kidney's ability to clean the blood properly, leading to further health complications if not managed effectively. There are several risk factors associated with the development of proteinuria. The most common are diabetes and hypertension, high blood pressure, both of which can cause damage to the kidney's filtering system over time. Diabetes leads to high blood sugar levels, which can eventually damage the kidneys. Hypertension puts extra pressure on the blood vessels throughout the body, including those in the kidneys, which can harm the organ's filtering ability. Other risk factors include obesity, smoking, age, and a family history of kidney disease. Certain ethnicities, such as those of African, Hispanic, or Asian descent, are also at higher risk. Lifestyle factors play a significant role in the development and management of proteinuria. A diet high in salt and protein can put additional strain on already weakened kidneys. Lack of physical activity, poor control of blood sugar and blood pressure, and the use of drugs that can damage the kidneys, like NSAIDs, can all contribute to the onset of proteinuria. Understanding these factors and the significant role proteinuria plays in kidney health can help individuals take proactive steps towards managing their kidney health. Early detection and treatment of proteinuria can slow the progression of kidney disease, helping maintain better overall health and quality of life. Therefore, it is crucial for those at risk to have regular checkups that include urine tests for protein, especially if they have conditions like diabetes or hypertension, or if they lead lifestyles that might predispose them to kidney issues. Recognizing the symptoms of proteinuria is crucial for early detection and management. The most noticeable symptom is foamy urine, which appears due to a high concentration of protein, such as albumin, in the urine. This foam may look similar to the foam you see when shaking a bottle of soap. While not all cases of foamy urine will mean you have proteinuria, it's an important sign to watch out for. Other symptoms might include swelling in the hands, feet, abdomen, or face, which happens because the kidneys aren't removing excess fluid from the body effectively. To diagnose proteinuria, healthcare providers rely on specific medical tests. The simplest is a urine dipstick test, which can be done during a routine doctor's visit. This test uses a chemically treated strip that changes color if protein is present in the urine. For a more accurate measurement, a urine protein test, such as a 24-hour urine collection or a spot urine protein to creatinine ratio, might be used. These tests measure the exact amount of protein being expelled in the urine and help determine if it's within a normal range. Additionally, blood tests may be conducted to assess kidney function. These include serum creatinine and blood urea nitrogen, BUN, tests, which help to evaluate how well the kidneys are filtering waste products from the blood. Imaging tests like ultrasounds or CT scans of the kidneys can also be used if more detailed examination is needed to assess the extent of kidney damage or to identify possible causes of the proteinuria. 
Early detection of proteinuria is vital. Catching this condition in its early stages can prevent further kidney damage and significantly lower the risk of developing more severe kidney disease. Early detection allows for timely intervention through lifestyle changes or medication that can slow down or even reverse kidney damage, thus preserving kidney function and overall health. Therefore, if you are at risk for kidney disease or have symptoms of proteinuria, it is important to undergo regular screenings and consult your healthcare provider. Proactive management and treatment can make a critical difference in outcomes, helping to maintain both kidney health and the quality of life. Recent trends and studies suggest that the incidence of proteinuria may be on the rise globally, reflecting broader public health concerns that impact kidney health. For instance, the increasing prevalence of conditions like diabetes and hypertension, which are primary risk factors for kidney disease, has led to higher rates of proteinuria. These trends are particularly noticeable in regions with rising obesity rates, as obesity is a known risk factor for both diabetes and hypertension. Data from various health surveillance systems indicate an uptick in cases of chronic kidney disease, CKD, with proteinuria often being an early indicator. This increase is not only a concern in developed countries, but also in developing regions where access to healthcare and awareness about kidney health may be limited. The global nature of this trend suggests that common factors worldwide may be contributing to the rise in proteinuria cases. Several possible reasons could explain the increase in proteinuria. Environmental factors such as increased exposure to toxins and pollutants are known to affect kidney health. For example, heavy metals found in contaminated water supplies or air pollution can lead to kidney damage, resulting in proteinuria. Dietary factors also play a crucial role. Modern diets often high in processed foods, sodium, and sugar can increase the risk of high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes, subsequently leading to kidney damage. The global shift towards higher consumption of these foods could be a contributing factor to the rising rates of proteinuria. Additionally, healthcare-related factors such as the variability in the quality of care across different regions and populations can impact the detection and management of kidney disease. In areas where routine screening for kidney function is not standard practice, proteinuria may go unnoticed until more severe symptoms arise. This can artificially increase the perceived incidence of proteinuria as more cases are eventually detected at more advanced stages. Understanding these trends is crucial for developing strategies to address the underlying causes of proteinuria and improving kidney health globally. It underscores the importance of lifestyle interventions, environmental health policies, and enhanced screening and treatment programs to manage and prevent this condition effectively. To reduce the risk of proteinuria and protect kidney health, Several preventive measures can be adopted, focusing on dietary adjustments, lifestyle modifications, and regular health screenings. Dietary adjustments. Modifying one's diet is crucial in preventing proteinuria. Reducing sodium intake is one of the primary dietary changes recommended. High sodium levels can increase blood pressure, putting extra strain on the kidneys and potentially leading to kidney damage. It's advisable to limit processed and canned foods, which are often high in sodium, and instead opt for fresh produce and home-cooked meals where you can control the amount of salt added. Another dietary recommendation is to moderate protein intake. While protein is an essential nutrient, excessive consumption, especially of animal proteins, can increase the burden on the kidneys as they work to filter out the waste products from protein metabolism. Opting for plant-based proteins or incorporating meatless days into your diet can help manage protein intake effectively. Incorporating more fruits and vegetables into the diet can also aid kidney health. These foods are high in antioxidants and other nutrients that help reduce inflammation and support overall kidney function. However, it's important for individuals with existing kidney issues to consult healthcare providers about appropriate fruit and vegetable choices, as some can be high in potassium, which might need to be limited depending on their condition. Lifestyle modifications. Maintaining a healthy weight is another significant preventive measure. Obesity increases the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure, both of which are risk factors for kidney disease. Regular physical activity such as walking, cycling, or swimming can help manage weight and has direct benefits for blood pressure and cardiovascular health, thus indirectly supporting kidney health. Avoiding smoking is also vital. Smoking impairs blood flow to various organs, including the kidneys, potentially exacerbating kidney damage and increasing the risk of proteinuria. Quitting smoking can significantly reduce these risks. Regular health screenings. Regular medical checkups are essential for early detection and management of kidney health issues. 
These checkups should include urine tests to check for proteinuria and blood tests to assess kidney function. Early detection of abnormalities in kidney function can allow for timely intervention and potentially prevent the progression to more serious kidney damage. Individuals at higher risk of kidney disease, such as those with a family history of kidney problems, diabetes, or hypertension, may benefit from more frequent screenings. Regular consultations with healthcare providers can ensure that any necessary dietary or medication adjustments are made promptly to maintain kidney health. Adopting these preventive measures can significantly lower the risk of developing proteinuria and help maintain healthy kidney function. By making informed choices about diet, lifestyle, and regular healthcare engagement, individuals can actively contribute to their kidney health and overall well being. Managing proteinuria effectively involves a combination of medical treatments, home remedies, lifestyle adjustments, and continuous monitoring. By addressing proteinuria, individuals can help slow the progression of kidney disease and maintain better overall health. Medical treatments. For those diagnosed with proteinuria, medical treatment is often necessary to manage the condition and prevent further kidney damage. Common medications prescribed include angiotensin-converting enzyme, AC inhibitors, and angiotensin II receptor blockers, ARBs. These medications help lower blood pressure and reduce the strain on the kidneys by decreasing protein loss in urine. They work by relaxing blood vessels and reducing the workload on the kidneys, helping to preserve kidney function over time. Diuretics, or water pills, may also be prescribed to help kidneys eliminate sodium and water, reducing swelling and blood pressure, which can be beneficial in managing proteinuria. Home remedies and lifestyle management, alongside medical treatment, certain home remedies and lifestyle changes can also be effective in managing proteinuria. Dietary changes, such as reducing salt intake, increasing water consumption, and including anti-inflammatory foods like berries, fatty fish, and whole grains, can be beneficial. These foods help reduce inflammation and support overall kidney health. Regular exercise is another crucial lifestyle adjustment. Activities like walking, swimming, or cycling can help maintain a healthy weight and reduce blood pressure, both of which are important for managing proteinuria. Reducing stress through yoga, meditation, or deep breathing exercises can also have a positive impact on blood pressure and overall health. Avoiding substances that can exacerbate kidney problems, such as NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and certain herbal supplements, is also recommended. Patients should consult with healthcare providers before taking any new medication or supplement to ensure it is safe for their kidneys. Monitoring and long-term care. Continuous monitoring is essential for anyone diagnosed with proteinuria, especially since the condition can be an early indicator of kidney disease. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider, including consistent monitoring of urine protein levels and kidney function tests, are critical. These tests help assess how well the kidneys are filtering waste and whether treatment adjustments are necessary. Patients should also be vigilant about monitoring their blood pressure and blood sugar levels, as both hypertension and diabetes are linked to kidney disease. Keeping these conditions under control can help manage proteinuria and reduce the risk of further kidney damage. Additionally, patients with proteinuria should maintain regular communication with their healthcare team, including nephrologists, primary care providers, and dietitians who can provide guidance on managing the condition through both medical treatment and lifestyle strategies. By combining medical treatments with home remedies, lifestyle adjustments, and regular monitoring, individuals with proteinuria can effectively manage their condition and significantly improve their chances of maintaining good kidney health and overall well-being. Ignoring proteinuria and failing to treat it can lead to severe health complications, highlighting the importance of early detection and management. Proteinuria when left untreated, can progress from a manageable condition to serious, irreversible damage to the kidneys. This progression can lead to chronic kidney disease, CKD, where the kidneys gradually lose their ability to filter waste effectively from the blood. Over time, this can escalate to end-stage renal disease, ESRD, or kidney failure, conditions that are life-threatening and require dialysis or a kidney transplant for survival. Chronic kidney disease and kidney failure are not the only concerns. Proteinuria can also be an indicator of other underlying health issues that may worsen if the root cause is not addressed. For instance, it is often associated with hypertension and diabetes, both of which can lead to cardiovascular diseases such as heart attacks and strokes if not properly managed. To illustrate the dangers of untreated proteinuria, consider the case of a middle-aged man, Mr. Smith, 
who was initially diagnosed with mild proteinuria during a routine checkup. Despite his doctor's recommendations, Mr. Smith did not make the necessary lifestyle changes nor follow up with further diagnostic testing. Over the years, his condition progressed unnoticed until he developed severe swelling in his legs and fatigue, symptoms of advanced kidney disease. By the time he sought treatment, he had developed stage 4 CKD and required significant medical intervention to manage his symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. Another example is Ms. Johnson, a young woman with a family history of diabetes who ignored early signs of proteinuria, attributing the occasional foamy urine to dehydration. Without monitoring or managing her condition, her kidney function declined as her unnoticed diabetes led to significant damage. She was eventually hospitalized with severe complications from high blood sugar levels and kidney failure, requiring emergency dialysis. These case studies underscore the critical importance of addressing proteinuria as soon as it is detected. Monitoring and treatment are key to preventing the progression to more severe kidney diseases and associated health problems. For individuals diagnosed with proteinuria, following medical advice, making necessary lifestyle changes, and regularly screening for kidney function can make a substantial difference in outcomes, helping to maintain health and quality of life. Recognizing, preventing, and managing proteinuria is crucial for maintaining kidney health and preventing serious complications. Proteinuria, marked by the presence of excess protein in urine, often manifests as foamy urine and can indicate early kidney damage. It is important to understand that proteinuria can lead to more severe conditions such as chronic kidney disease and even kidney failure if left untreated. Managing proteinuria involves dietary adjustments such as reducing sodium and protein intake, making lifestyle changes like maintaining a healthy weight and regular exercise, and consistently monitoring kidney function through regular medical checkups. It is essential to pay close attention to any changes in the appearance of your urine. Foamy urine, in particular, should prompt an immediate consultation with a healthcare provider. Early detection and treatment of proteinuria not only help in managing the condition, but also significantly reduce the risk of developing more severe kidney diseases. I encourage everyone to take proactive steps in managing their kidney health. Being informed about the risks and symptoms of proteinuria and making conscious lifestyle choices can greatly enhance your overall health and help prevent kidney-related illnesses. Do not overlook the signs your body may be sending you. Regular checkups and being attentive to changes in your body are powerful tools in maintaining kidney health. Take control of your health by being vigilant about the symptoms of proteinuria and engaging with healthcare professionals to maintain optimal kidney function. Remember, your health choices have a powerful impact on your well-being, and taking informed actions can lead to a healthier life. Maintaining kidney health is crucial for overall well-being. Here are some quick tips. Q&A section. Q1. What is proteinuria? Proteinuria is the presence of abnormal amounts of protein in the urine, which can indicate kidney damage. Two, how is proteinuria detected? Proteinuria is usually detected through a simple urine test that checks for protein levels. Two, three, can proteinuria be treated? Yes. Treatment typically involves addressing the underlying condition causing proteinuria, such as hypertension or diabetes, and may include medications that help reduce protein in urine. Q4, is proteinuria serious? Yes, it can be a sign of early kidney disease. If left untreated, it can lead to more severe kidney damage. Q5, can diet affect proteinuria? Absolutely. A diet low in sodium and protein, especially animal protein, can help manage or reduce proteinuria. Awareness and prevention are key in maintaining kidney health. Understanding the signs and symptoms of conditions like proteinuria, along with engaging in preventive measures, can significantly influence the progression of kidney disease. Regular checkups, a healthy lifestyle, and immediate action when changes are noticed are all critical steps in protecting your kidneys. By staying informed and proactive, you can manage your kidney health effectively, ensuring a better quality of life. Let's prioritize our kidneys by making informed health choices and seeking timely medical advice, reinforcing the importance of preventive care and sustaining long-term health.